Hi, in this video I will show you how to set up an equipment item. So let's get started by resaving the scene as a new scene. Then we go to the inventory system editor and we have already created the sword as an equipment item, but it requires equipment region. So let's go to the equipment region tab and in the UI we have multiple slots for the equipment. Let me show you. So we have the head, shoulders, torso, amulet and so on. And all those regions need to be created in the inventory system editor. So let's uh, click on the plus button and we will create all the slots here. In the next step we need to assign the regions to our slots, so we select the head, navigate to item slot and click on the restrictions and reselect the region to make a reference to our database. And we do this for all the slots. There are a few more slots in the second set. Even if it is selected, we need to reselect it to make the reference correctly. Because right now we have right hand also in the default database. So to make it reference to our tutorial database, we need to reselect them. That's it. And um, now we can go to the items tab, select the sword and add the region to the item. So we click on the plus button and we select the right hand. So this sword will be attached to the right hand. Then we select our player and add the equipment handler component. You have to set the window name, that's the same name as in the equipment window in the item container, so this should be the same. Then we click on the bones, select our database and it will show all the available uh, regions here. And we have to make um, a reference to a bone that re represents the head, the shoulders, torso and so on. So let's expand the default avatar and go to the rig. For example, we have head here and we have to drag and drop it there. Important for our item is the right hand. So I'm going to just use for now the left hand and right hand. And because I don't have any shoulders, torso and so on, I will keep them as no. But when you add items like torso, you have to reference it. Let's break the prefab. And in the next step we have to create the visual item for our equipment handler. So we add a new visual item. This one is a melee weapon. We click on the null. And here we select our sword. Then we increase the array of attachment. Select the region. 
to right hand. Then we have to drag and drop the prefab that should be attached to the bone. That's our prefab here. Make the scale 111. And let's go to the scene. And we click the attach prefab handle. With this handle, you can um, you can select this sword now and position it to the hand. For now that's okay because we will need to test this in play mode with the animations. Then when you position it, we click again the remove prefab handle. This will remove the uh, item from the hand. But it will save all the position and rotation. So let's close this. Hit save. And let's try. As you can see, the weapon is attached, but it's not attached correctly. So let's hit pause. Then we go to select the player, and now we can position the sword correctly. I think that's fine here. So let's copy this component, this transform, go out of play mode, we go again and select the items tab here or the items button in the equipment handler, we select the sword, we attach the prefab handle again and then we just paste the position or the component values. So paste component values. And we have the correct position now saved here and we then remove the prefab handle again. We got a warning here that uh, state could, couldn't be found. That's, uh, let's see, idle state is the movement and use state is what sm sla slash. Let's check our animator controller. If we have this, so in movement, we have free movement and sword and shield movement. So I'm going to copy this, this tree or this state here and paste it here to the idle. And when the item is used, we can use sword slash. That's um, this one, this state. So that should be fine now. Okay, as you can see, we are now, when we equip the item, the player goes to the, goes to the, um, sword and shield movement. So when we select it, as you can see, it plays this animation and when we unequip it, it goes back to the free movement. That's fine. Our UI is a little bit high. So let's move that down. Select our equipment window and we just move it down to something like this maybe. And maybe we want to offset it a little bit. I think that's fine now. 
like this. We got an arrow. Ah, because our this one is disabled. Um, this window. Um, we will implement the stats later, so this error is harmless basically. Um, that's just for showing the character window whenever the character uh, when the error the equipment window gets opened. So that's not the problem right now. Okay, let's uh, copy the equipment window rec transform. Copy component, we go out of play mode, and now we position the equipment window or equipment slots to the just copied position. So we paste it here, paste component values, and by default we want them to be disabled so, or hidden. In the next video we will implement the stat system and uh, we won't get these errors anymore. You can just remove these two uh, functions to get rid of it, but uh, we will just fix this by implementing this character window or by enabling this character window.